Hello, welcome to Telecom TV. My name is Tony Chan, and with me today is Eric Debo, who is head of NFV Solutions at Orange. OPN NFV is part of his role is to actually coordinate this industry-wide uh, testing of, of uh, virtualized functions. Mm -hmm. um, how has that accelerated or helped Orange um, roll out its, its NFV strategy? I'm not sure that it, it accelerated a lot, but uh, we uh, we use um, the testing tool from OPNV, uh, like Functest or Yardseek, for our internal uh, integration center, which is uh, the place where we we test the, our infrastructure before deploying in, uh, in, in Live Network. So we are using this, uh, this, uh, these fantastic tools developed by uh, the community. And uh, Morgan Richard this morning was uh, presenting this, uh, our approach. And I think China Mobile is doing uh, about the same thing. And what is cool is that we, we, we were able to use this, uh, this testing tool, open source testing tool, on top of uh, commercial solution. Mm. So that's great for us to detect some problem and to uh, uh, to fine-tune uh, our infrastructure and also to benchmark with uh, results coming from the community. So uh, that's, uh, that's uh, I think it's a, it's a powerful uh, result from, uh, from OPNAV. Uh, on the other point from uh, OPNAV, we, we, we learned a lot about uh, automation. Mm -hmm. Because three years ago when we started the project, we were not so familiar, let's say, in the network part of the Orange with all these uh, CI-CD concepts uh, and all these tools. And so now we know that it's possible to deploy uh, uh, an NAV infrastructure in hours, in automatic way. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, that's some, uh, some learning we, we, we have uh, we, with the community. We learn from others. Uh, and we, now we try to push this uh, vision in an uh, operational team. It will take some time because uh, it's not easy to, uh, to change uh, the way we uh, operate the network. But we believe that we, with software, uh, we should uh, be able to automate uh, as much as possible. You, you, you did mention uh, about software. And uh, one, of the, one of the things that people are talking about today is 5G. And it seems it's going to go everywhere. It's going to support mm -hmm. every application you can imagine. And a lot of that is going to be software-based. Uh, most likely, probably, uh, uh, a VNF uh, of some kind in, in the network. How do you see that um, the open source community and, and open source networking fit into the 5G vision of, of Orange? Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah we, um, but <coughs> 5G will be uh, mostly based on uh, virtualized infrastructure, and NFV, SDN, and so on. But, uh, um, all the parts of 5G won't be uh, virtualized at the beginning. I, um, for example, at the access part, uh, it will take maybe more time to have a full uh, a virtualized component. But for all the core network, yes, we believe that will be um, important to have uh, some uh, VNF uh, uh, clone native as much as, as possible. Uh, and we also believe that um, there will be more and more uh, uh, open source solutions uh, on maybe some v open source VNF mm -hmm. that, will, uh, that will appear uh, because we have some uh, a great momentum, for example, in, uh, in the Linux Foundation about networking. So a lot of projects dealing with uh, uh, SDN and NFV. Uh, and we, we, we should um, be able to uh, to, to just create the foundation for all this, uh, at least for the, the core network for 5G, sure, uh, definitely. Okay. But for the access part, it will take some, some time, okay. much, much more time. So uh, can you talk a little bit about Orange's progress so far for NFB? I mean, uh, have you actually deployed um, network functions in, into your commercial network? Yes, we, uh, we, uh, we started with Enterprise Market. Uh, so we deployed um, on a fork called EasyGo Network for uh, international uh, companies. So offering some uh, kind of VPN with uh, added um, value services, 
like firewalling and so on, and security. So we, we, so we deploy this service on top of uh, NAV infrastructure using some SDN controller. Uh, so now it's, uh, it's live. Uh, in addition, we have also a big uh, program called on-demand program in uh, Orange Group to define our strategy, to select the right partners, to define the architecture. And we have launched also some, uh, some trials uh, in, uh, in, in, various in various countries, for example, in Poland for the virtual uh, CPE, residential virtual CPE. And uh, we are also, uh, we, we try to, to, um, to ev evaluate or have some field trial in, uh, in the various, um, uh, various functions in, in, in different countries also. Because we, we, have, uh, we operate in uh, mm -hmm. about 30 countries. So we can have uh, can test, for example, the IMS in one country, VPC yeah. another one, so on. So, uh, do, do you have any uh, um, experience to share as to the benefits? Maybe of uh, have you seen, you know, actual financial or cost benefits from going with NFV as opposed to the traditional solution? I think it's too early to uh, <laughs> okay. to uh, to say that because I think the benefits will come when we when we have a lot of VNF deployed on top of um, an infrastructure. Uh, because at the beginning, to be honest, you need, uh, you need to invest in new techniques, you need to train people. So uh, uh, it, it costs at the beginning. So, right. uh, so uh, I, I don't have some, uh, some figures to, to share because uh, I don't think we have it. But we expect some, uh, some benefits, but uh, much more when we we deploy a lot of VNF. Okay, um, lastly, uh, because we're in Beijing, uh, do you see a, a different approach to open source uh, from you know, uh, overseas in Europe or in the US and with the local community here in China? Is there a different uh, mentality approach? Yeah, I think there's different culture. On, uh, I've been working in Telecom era since, uh, for uh, more than 20 years. And I started uh, working in uh, SDO. And in SDO, uh, we also had some kind of collaboration with uh, uh, American people, European, uh, from Asia, and so on. And in open source, yes, I, I don't see a big difference because we, we all share the same objective. is to deliver some code uh, that uh, answers some uh, requirements. And uh, it's uh, our global objective. If we have some may maybe different way of working, different culture, uh, it's true. But at the end of the day, I think as we share the same objective, we can uh, work in the same direction. So it's, uh, I think it's, uh, there is no big, uh, big difference between uh, Asia and Europe and so on. There is some, yeah, some cultural difference the way we work and so on. But globally, I think we can work all together. We have some booths, for example, here. With, uh, with a, we have a demo, for example, with Huawei. It was just something that appeared in the community. Nothing uh, prepared, but just we, uh, they wanted to demonstrate a multi-site uh, solution. We wanted to prove that we can deploy a VNF on top of multi-site solution. So we have the same interest, and we work together. Okay. So that's, I, I believe that's when we share the same objective, the cultural difference, it's, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's not a problem. Okay. Very, very well said. Thank you very much, Eric. Yes, thank you.